the public enterprise deputy minister who said he was acting in his personal capacity was accompanied by two other members of the public who also submitted their objections to the Electoral Commission of Namibia on Friday. Nekundi alleges that LPM's list submitted to the ECN consists of some names of deceased persons pointing out a person who died in 2008. When you deal with the issue of multiplications, uh, the duplicates and the quadruplets of the persons is ended and the person who is a disease, and all, it comes to that uh, Omaheke, Oshodonjupa, uh, Kunene and Erongo and, uh, and Ohangwena, the applications fall short of the 500, therefore it does not comply. To, I'm not asking for a favor, I'm asking that the ECN look at the law and that if my objection, objection submitted, the facts are submitted, are in a compliance, therefore the application should be rejected. The outspoken politician says he has in his possession death certificates as proof of this evidence. He, however, did not include it in his submission to the ECN, nor was he keen to share it with the media present. ECN's acting CEO, Aune Gideon, received the objection and promised it will be scrutinized to conciliate the Electoral Act rules and procedures. We want this process to be free and fair in the sense that people will have the, op um, the opportunity to do, make their objections. So there is a process and for us to be able to rectify any of these objections if the Commission wishes to do so. Gideon says although the LPM has already been gazetted and complied with the basic requirements for registration, pending processes will be followed. The due date for public objection is the 12th of January, after which the party will be given time to retort the objections and ECN will either reject the objections, reject party registration or provide for a remedial time for the party to rectify the glitches. Apart from these objections, the ECN has only registered one objection from a United Democratic Front to that effect. Contacted for comments, LPM leader Henny Sebeb said that it was a SWAPO and UDF strategy coined by election fever aimed at detracting LPM's good name. Sebeb is, however, confident that those objections stand no chance to deter the registration of the party. Daniel Nadunya, NBC News, Vent Hook.